Okay, after getting the order online page link, uh, you're probably wondering how do you connect it to your Weebly website so you can accept online orders and have that process through your Clover POS. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, in this scenario, we have two locations. We have Greensville and we have Simpsonville. Okay, so this one is Simpsonville. So what you would do is you would take the link that was emailed to you or simply click on the URL of your um, current current browser you're using and then you'll copy and paste that link. So let's go ahead and go to uh, Weebly. Okay, here's Weebly. Um, the company that's hosting it is called iPage. So let's go ahead and um, take a look at that. And we're going to press Edit Website. First, uh, while it's uh, giving me the option to edit the website, I'm going to show you what the Weebly page looks like. See right here, this page is built on Weebly. Okay, so the issue we have here is that we have Greenville and we have Simpsonville, but there's no links on it. It says order online available to both locations, but there should be a link here so we can link that. So we're going to go ahead and link that. So you, the customers can just click on it and it'll take them right to the order online page. And then the other link we're missing is up here too. So when they click on this, it just says online order. Okay, get Simpsonville, but not um, uh, Greensville. So we're gonna go ahead and fix these two things here. So this one took me to Greenville. Okay, we're gonna rename that to Greenville location. Let's go ahead and get started, see what it looks like so far. And press edit website. Oh, I pressed that earlier, it's still editing. Um, let's take a look, maybe there's a different way to do it. Edit website, loading, loading. Okay, I was able to get in there. Uh, it was a, I guess I have to enable the disable pop up blocker. So, in, once you get in, um, press the edit site one more time. So, we're going to do two things here we're going to add some links on the main website and then some links on the menu, appearance menu. So right now we have order online but it just says Simpsonville. We want to get two locations here, not just one. So how do we do that? Uh, we're going to have to uh, make some changes here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, external link is Golden Llama. Okay. Um, so from here, the order online uh, what you do is you press pages right here and then now we have order online right here so uh, as you can see uh, there's one uh, open link in a new tab in the same tab let's open a new tab okay and then uh, page name it says order online okay let me go back and see what it says here okay oh, um, online order Simpsonville okay so we're gonna have to add one more here uh, that way there's another page to it because this is the parent um, and this is the menu below it. Let's take a look on how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this and then we're going to remove the link so there's nothing there because this is taking us to um, um, Greenville location. So we're going to copy that link and then we're going to delete it and then we're going to go back and uh, because we, we want them uh, not to click on this, but click on the link below it, right? So we're going to press this button here. Oh, I see. Please upgrade to add more. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Six page limit. Um, I see. Okay, so it has a six page limit. Uh, let me see. Maybe one of these pages could be uh, not used. Let's take a look. <clears throat> okay, so what we did is... Um, we clicked on um, pages. Sorry, uh, let's see, pages right here. And then we put order Greenville location, which is this one right here. And then order uh, Simpsonville, which is this location here. Order Greenville or order Simpsonville. And then uh, also, um, what I did was I linked the uh, URLs to this too. So when they when the customer clicks on this button, I'll take them to the Greenville location. And if they click on this one, it'll also take them to the Greenville location. So, and then once we did all that uh, for the Weebly, uh, we're going to publish it now. Uh, because everything looks complete. Menu, history, order online. So it'll say order Greenville. The reason why I couldn't put the order online here, because it wouldn't fit. So I had to keep it short. So order Greenville, order Simpsonville, and then gallery. 
Um, that way the people can uh, order from that. And then publish it. Okay, and then what you want to do after you publish it, you want to check it on both uh, the website and on the mobile phone. You make sure it's correct on both sides. So let's go ahead and check it out on the on the on the website first. Okay, to check on the website, you just uh, refresh the page. Here's what it looked like before. <clears throat> we're gonna refresh the page and we see what it looks like now. Uh, let's see, I'll refresh. So you may have to clear your cache. Uh, let me try it on the uh, Google Chrome here because it looks like. Let me go to the home page here. Oh, I see, I wasn't on the home page. Okay, let's take a look at what it looks like now. Because the main thing we were looking at was this part right here. You gonna press it now? Uh, all the, okay, so probably on the website, the cache has been cleared. So let me try Google Chrome here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, open a new Google Chrome tab. New window. I'm gonna pa paste it here, the link to the website. And then I'm just going to go to goldenlama.net. Okay, so now we have, um, there we go, order Greenville, order Simpsonville, perfect. And then uh, let me go here, Greenville location, Simpsonville location. I'm going to click on this link, see what it does. It should take me to the Greenville location, if I did it correctly. Yep, all my orders only for Greenville location. Now I'm going to go back, and this time I'm going to select um, Simpsonville location. Okay, there we go. This one is good too. Simpsonville location. Okay, so from which from what we can see here, we uh, we successfully added order online pages to connect to the Clover POS from the Weebly website. Uh, adding the links by adding them both here, so it appears on the mobile phone. And also adding them here on the website in case the customer just starts scrolling down, they could click here or here, uh, or here as well. Okay, um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. That's how we got that job done. Yep, and that's how we did that. Thank you so much.